Welcome back to my channel, XGen and ProteinX. To talk about overview of the DAPI staining and its protocol. Let's begin. So uh, this is the DAPI structure and the chemical name. And as you know that the DAPI it can bind with the DNA and it gives uh, blue light under UV. So DAPI first synthesized in 1971 in the laboratory of Otto Dunn. DAPI can pass through an intact cell membrane. It can be used to stain both live and fixed cells. Though it passes through the membrane less efficiently in live cells. Other hand, the permeability of the DAPI is higher in case of the fixed and permeabilized cells. But DAPI binds preferentially to DNA minor group in the AT rich region and uh, also the DAPI has an absorption maximum at a wavelength of 358 nanometer and its emission maximum is at 461 nanometer. Therefore, for fluorescence microscopy, DAPI is excited with UV light and is detected through blue or cyan filter. So this is a DAPI staining image. So nucleus are stained and this color is, uh, this blue color is showing the, the nucleus of the cell. And also the DAPI it bind to RNA though not as strongly fluorescent its emission shifts to around 500 nanometer when bound to RNA. DAPI is also popular for labeling of cell cultures to detect the DNA of contamination mycoplasma or virus. So as you see in this picture that uh, in the this is the contamination mycoplasma contamination. So that's why the mycoplasma DNA is stained uh, with uh, DAPI. But here is no contamination, no background noise. So you can compare if you if we uh, these two, two pictures. So there, so this is no contamination and this is the mycoplasma contamination. And also, as I uh, mentioned earlier, that uh, DAPI, the permeability of the DAPI into the intact or live cell, it's lower compared to the permeabilized cells. And also, the DAPI is toxic to the live cells. So this is why people use hoist dyes for live cell staining. So this is the, the hoist dye structure, and also the this hoist dye, this is less toxic than DAPI and which ensures a higher viability of stained cells. And the, the additional ethyl group in certain hoist dyes renders more cell permeability. So this is, uh, so that, that kind of certain um, dyes, for example, that is the hoist triple three four two in this dye, there is one in this uh, in this position there is additional um, ethyl group so if I, it is this uh, in this position there is the additional ethyl group and that render more permeability of this uh, of this dye so let's have a look the preparation of the DAPI solution so uh, for the for DAPI staining you have to prepare the stock first and the stock concentration you might uh, prepare it 1 to 5 mg per ml by dissolving double distilled water and the working concentration should be 0 0.5 to 1 microgram per ml and in this case you have to dissolve in PBS so whenever you use uh, whenever you use for the staining so you have to take from the stock concentration and you have to dilute it in PBS but in PBS um, it's uh, actually is poor solubility compared to the the DDH2, and DAPI has poor solubility in water as well. So um, if if uh, sonication or styring needed, so you have to do that. So after that, after dissolving in the tube, then you have to wrap it with alufoil to protect light. And for the store and for short term storage, like for six months, you have to store it four degrees centigrade, and for longer time, you have to store it minus twenty degrees centigrade. 
So next I will look the protocol for DAPI staining. So first you have to discard the, the media from, from your dish and then wash the cells twice with PVS and next fix the cells with 4% PFA for 20 minutes in dark place. So as I, as I mentioned earlier that, um, that the permeability of the cells of this DAPI into the fixed and permeable uh, cell is higher. So this is why you have to fix and uh, you have to add permeable reagent. So and then wash the cells twice with PVS and uh, permeabilization step you have to add 0.1% Triton X for 5 to 10 minutes in dark place but don't uh, mm, don't incubate with this permeabilization agent like Triton X for longer time period and wash the cells twice with PVS and next is that add DAPI leave it for 5 minutes at room temperature in dark place and then wash the cells with PVS and this cells is ready for imaging. So this is all about uh, the DAPI staining and its protocol. So I hope this video will be helpful. If you like this video kindly hit the like button, share it and please if you really think that this video is helpful don't forget to subscribe my channel that encourages me to make more interesting video. Thanks.